Hi, Ori, it's Shrapson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we finished the Hints of a New Plague quest chain, and we got some new legs from it. We got the Light Step Leggings, which give us 92 armor, 13 agility, and 5 stamina. Pretty solid upgrade there. And now we will be leaving Hillsbrad for now, and we're going to head off to Light the Rathi Highlands. And we'll do a quest over there. We haven't really done many quests in the Arathi Highlands. I don't think there is too many. It's mostly uh, a zone for the Horde, I think. But we'll uh, we'll finish off a quest. And I'm thinking about heading over to Stranglethorn Vale. I think that might be the next zone that we go to. We're almost level 40. Could have went there in the early 30s, so... We are long overdue for Stranglethorn Vale. Kind of worried about that zone. It's going to be tough. It's actually, uh, I think there's a ring we can get in that zone that I'm looking at. So we may go for that. And we just got to hope that we survive. There's a lot of elites there. There's elite ogres, elite panthers, elite raptors, elite tigers. It's not a safe place. There's tons of patrols rolling around. It's kind of why I wanted to wait before I headed over there. All right, so here we are back in Refuge Point. And here is Apprentice Crichton. Need help. Hello, 007. Welcome to Refuge Point. Worth its weight in gold, Archmage Malin sent Squerto and I here to collect reagents for him. I was at a loss as to how I was going to collect the items, but now that you are here, I think my problem solved. I need the following Witherbark Tusks, Witherbark Medicine Pouches, and a Shadow Hunter's Knife. Could you find those for me? The Witherbark live in the southeast of Arathi. Alright, so off to the southeast of Arathi we go. I can't do that. It's nice that it's not raining today. In the Rathi Highlands. Didn't look too good out there. Last episode. Yeah, we should get some good XP today. We're going to be slaying a lot of trolls. And we also will be picking up a bunch of herbs. Which is another reason why I want to uh, quest here a little bit longer. So I can get my herbalism up and also get some more herbs so we can make more elixir of greater defense and elixir of agility. There's Fosrick over there, we gotta watch out for him. But yeah, that was a fun quest. The last uh, quest we did. I enjoyed assassinating that courier. And the escort was pretty fun too. I so, uh, thought it was going to be tougher than it was though. We actually dealt with those orcs pretty damn easily. Kanith is a pretty strong tank. Okay, so we have to head over this way. We want to find the trolls. It's over here. The life root. Let's pick this up. Not too sure what we can use life root for. There has to be a potion or elixir that we use it for. Yeah, the healing pots. That's good. Seems like we need to make a couple more of these anyways, so I'm gonna craft two. Nice we'll craft as many of these as we can. And we should be at the ability to, or, or skill level, I should say, to get a new health pot soon. I think it's at like 215 or something like that. Should probably try to get this to 225 before we head back and try to upgrade it. Another thing I'm going to be trying to farm is Mage Weave Cloth. That could be something that we go out and try to get because first aid is currently pretty much at a 
At 225, we'll make a couple of heavy silk bandages here. I guess we'll make one Majory bandage, why not? Looks like we found a gold thorn over here and some ogres. Seems like ogres are in every zone. It's like a different clan of ogres. It's like they've been like taken over Azeroth almost. <laughs> Got some wild steel bloom over here. And it looks like we are now in Witherbark Village. Alright, so you sprint. And let's get ready to deal with some trolls. Not too sure who drops what, but we'll uh, track this stuff down here. Put its weight in gold. I think the tusks probably drop off of any of them. So let's get our poisons back up. Don't know why uh, he keeps asking me if enchanting this will bind this to me. I've done this multiple times. It keeps telling me that. I guess we'll finish off this soothing turtle bisque, make a little bit of bag space for ourselves. And we got some Cadgar's Whisker over here that we will try to get. Okay, so let's start dealing with some trolls here. I, I know there's a troll cave. bit more uh, east from here, right around here, that we're going to have to get into if we want to get the Shadow Hunter knife. Where we get the medicine pouches from? Probably from healers, I would assume. Maybe the witch doctors have. You guys are literally missing every day. That guy did barely hit me once. Oh, we got a scroll of intellect. I guess we'll use that. Why not? It'll help us level up our maces. Our mace skill is currently at 199, so we're trying to get that 200, so this will help us, help us get that. That's what intellect does. It helps you level up your weapon skill. And it also gives you a larger mana pool. But we do not have... Well, we don't use mana because we're rogues, so we really only benefit from the weapon skill. Increase. A lot of Cadgar's Whisker around here. And these trolls are getting completely wrecked. I guess the increased agility that we got is really putting in work. Plus this hammer that we have is pretty damn good. Our character's really coming along. We've gotten a lot of gear. In the last, uh, let's say, 20 episodes. 30 to 20 to 30 episodes. We got this mace, we got this belt, we got these pants, we got these hands. Got another offhand mace, which is still an upgrade. I think these wrists, maybe, too? No. Yeah, we got these shoulders, which is really only armor. The neck was, ama it was an amazing, like, drop that we got. Got really lucky with a couple of drops with the neck and the and the mace. And, this will pro and I'm hoping this will hold us off until you know, some more quests open up for us to get more um, just better weapons. 
There actually isn't that many weapon drops for Alliance. I mean, I've been looking at the comparisons of, like, Horde and Alliance quests, and the Horde quests give... I don't know, more... More and better upgrades to rogues than uh, the Alliance quests do. There's not many good uh, Alliance quests, I'd say, for rogues. The last one we did, the Hints of a New Plague, was one of the good ones, though. And uh, the Mountain Lion hand Hands one we did. Those are two pretty good ones, but there isn't too many left. Yeah, we'll just go around and play these trolls, I guess. There should be some chests around here for us to find. Hopefully we can get some of those. Maybe it'll drop us some good stuff. So I'll keep an eye on that. We got some life root over there. Yeah, we better get used to fighting trolls. We will be fighting a lot of trolls in Stranglethorn Vale. Or STV, whatever you, you like to call it. The place is littered with trolls. And we have to watch out for the Horde Flight Point guy. I, I gotta make sure I never attack him. Because if I do, I'm most likely gonna die. So I'm just going to try to stay away from him at all costs. I think that's the only way I die in Hoodie Bay. Let's get some life root here. Okay, so we're doing all right with the medicine pouches. We already got two. I'm out of range. <laughs> yeah, this armor is really helping a lot. The 250 armor, I've noticed, like, this pod is really overpowered. Like, they're barely doing any damage to me. Because of this 250 armor pot, I think. Like, if you think about it, that this pot right here, this ar armor elixir, has more armor than the helmet, the shoulders, the cloak, <laughs> and the chest and the chest combined. Yeah, it's pretty much on the same level as all four of those pieces. Kind of ridiculous. So, it's, I would say this is pretty overpowered. And then also getting this 15 Agi buff does help out a lot, too. I think we get more dodge from Agi, I'm pretty sure. Increases range, that increases attack power with both melee and rage weapons. An improved chance to score critical hits with all weapons. It also increases armor and chance to dodge. I didn't know that's what Agi did. did. So, yeah, all this Agi we've got is increasing our armor, too, and our dodge. So we're actually pretty tanky, I would say, with these two pots. And then you add on top of that the food, which gives us 8 stam, 8 spirit for now, and then we have some other food that gives us 12 stam, 12 spirit. It's a pretty, pretty damn good item. 250 armor, 15 agi. 12 Stam, 12 Spirit. That's like pretty much a, a level 60 item, I would say. Alright, so there should be a, a cave around here. I think it might be back here, or up here. There it is. That is where we want to go. At least for the Shadow Hunter's Knife, because there isn't really any Shadow Hunters outside here. What I remember. Do 
There we go. We're starting to get some tusks. Oh. Another witch doctor. I can't <laughs> And I think at 40, we will be able to upgrade our poisons. Which I'm looking forward to. Gotta watch out for these caves. One of the most dangerous things about caves is the the, the back spawns. What I mean by back spawns is this stuff ends up spawning. And um, when that happens, it can cause some issues, especially if you're trying to run away. You might end up running into some mobs that have just spawned back into the game. And then that, that ends up being pretty rough and you can easily die from that, so. Caves are pretty damn dangerous, I'd say. There's the Shadow Hunters up there. We've got a greater health pod here, but we can't pick it up. But I can use a Mage Weed Bandage. So I think we'll do that. We'll use a Mage Weed Bandage. This will get us to full health. And then we'll pick up a greater healing pot. And I think we'll try to use this while we're out here. I wonder where the Shadow Hunter went. Can Shadow Hunter stealth? Oh, scroll of stamina. That's pretty good. Got two of those now. Let's right, see how the shadow hunter is. He doesn't put a dot on us. Yeah, he does. Puts a curse on us. Physical damage done. Reduced by 15. Curse of weakness. We're doing less damage now, but I think we were doing do a pretty high amount of damage already. I don't think that'll affect us too much. Maybe we'll find a chest in here. That would be nice. I don't have enough Hardened leather helm. No, not better than the one we have, though. It's crazy how this is a this is a better helm. But I think we might want to get this, because I think it'll be worth more than these uh spider legs. Comes another shadow hunter. Looks like these guys do put a dot on you, they put shadow word pain, so we can't really uh vanish away from these guys, so we gotta watch out fight them. Maybe we'll take a picture here of these two uh, trolls just having a chat by the fire. You gotta watch out for the fire, though. Could be a little dangerous. Kind of silly if we walked up to the fire while we were stealth and then we got knocked out of stealth because we walked over the campfire. It's happened to me before. Yeah, I guess we'll keep fighting these headhunters. Why not? We do need some more of these tusks. She barely hit me. I've stunned her like so many times. Now we have a musket here. Probably gonna want to get rid of this gooey spider leg. 
I should have sold the saber leggings. I made a mistake there. Couple headhunters. There's a shadow hunter here. Not sure if it's a good idea for me to uh, just skip these guys, though. I think I'll sap one. Fight this guy. I don't want to have a place to run to. If he dots me and, like, runs away and I don't finish him off, it could get a little rough. So I'll finish these guys like that. Okay, this guy uh, put a mark on us. Wither touch. Stamina reduced by 17. Spirit reduced by 17. He's gonna... Okay, we got him before he got away. Card and cloak and some wild hog shank. Okay. Looks like we got dotted up. I'm gonna try to bring this guy away. Here. Shadow Hunter knife. Finally got one of those. So we'll uh I don't know what we'll do here. Do we have an extra health pot? Yeah. Maybe get rid of the the cool cloth. Alright, so there we go. We got the, the knife. Now we just need three more tusks. Looks like this place is all headhunters. Doesn't look like there's any chest for us to open. So we will probably just fight this guy. And then make our way back. Doesn't look like there's any witch doctors around. So we won't be able to get any medicine pouches from that pack. Well, we got two more tusks to go. I think it's a good time for us to have another bite to eat. Get our health back up and also get 12 stamina, 12 spirit buff. There we go. Yeah, you can see the health drop there. Like 12 stamina is pretty significant. It's 120 health. A lot of these... Uh, these, these Witherbox sh Shadow Hunters and and the other uh, the Head Hunters are really only hitting me for like 66. So pretty much two of their hits right there is, is in the, the well fed buff. Let's see what's over here. Just gonna explore this cave a little bit. Hopefully we don't get caught out of stealth. Any chests around here? These guys have no chests. What's a cave without a chest? You know what I mean? Like, it's one of the most important parts about caves. So they have some goodies inside. But this one doesn't seem to have any. I think we've went everywhere. We went up there. This is the front. Everything spawned back again. And I don't know where that where this leads to. Doesn't look like there's much down there either, though. Imagine this is just like a big dead end. There's like nothing down there. I can't even escape. Could head down there just to see what's there. Jump down here. Hopefully, I don't take too much fall damage. It's kind of dangerous. I think we're a high enough level to. We don't pull everything. We don't fight this guy for fun. Hopefully, we'll pull a bunch of stuff. Yeah. 
There we go, got a nice stun on her. More claymore, that's gonna sell for a lot. Um can make some silk bandages. We're getting a lot of silk off these guys. Got some crappy uh, sweet nectar here we can get rid of. And I think we'll put the claymore there. And if we could get some, like, one more silk cloth, you could probably fill up uh, all these silk bandages. And then lose a silk slot. Alright, so what's over here? I think that's just the other area we were just at. Yeah, not much going on in this cave. So I guess we'll go outside. We'll try to find... one of the witch doctors so we can get a medicine pouch. Is this the right way to go? Is this the way out of here? I think so. There's nothing up here, right? This is a dead end. Oh, we're getting a little lost over here. Yeah, no chests over here either. A lot of uh, ores to mine, though. It's a good place to come into if you're looking to level up your mining. I think this is the way out over here. Well, we got what we came for, which is the Shadow Hunter knife. Now we just need couple of tusks and a medicine pouch. Oh, that's a pretty cool thing about Repost. It disarms the, uh, I didn't know that it disarms. That really helps. How long it disarms for? This attack deals 150% weapon damage and disarms the target for six seconds. That's pretty. That's brutal for a melee. Uh, it's pretty much like a six second CC. Alright, well, we're getting a lot of scrolls of intellect. That's our final medicine pouch. Now we just need a couple more tusks. And then we can go back to Nigel's. It's not ref Refuge Point? Yeah, we'll go back to Refuge Point. And sell everything that we picked up and turn in this quest. Probably try to uh, get this helmet in our bags. I'll make uh, one more silk bandage. And we'll get rid of that. And we'll take that helmet. Great place to level up, uh, like, heavy silk bandage or your first aid. Get a lot of silk over here. I was wishing that they would be dropping. Mage weave, but I guess we have to get a, a little bit higher of a level for that. I don't. Do that. I don't. Do that. 
I mean, you added me, it's gonna be the way. Another Cadgar's Whisker. I think that makes a health pot for us. Like, a, like later on. Not too sure about it. Well, we'll, uh, we'll herb it though. We'll get some more of this. Probably end up putting it in the bank until we have a potion or elixir that we can craft with it. And there really isn't that many professions for us to level up anymore. Pretty much at the end game. More professions. Like, we could level up our fishing. Um, our herbalism's getting pretty close. 300 or 241. Their alchemy's at 225 now, or almost. It's almost there. It's pretty much there if we just started making crafting. So we're pretty much at the end game. Now it's just trying to get XP and um, and trying to find new loot. Scroll of strength. We got some major royale here. I don't know what to get rid of. I wonder what would be worth more: this, these cloth bracers or this elemental earth? I don't know. I guess we'll hold on to the elemental earth. Getting some better bags would be nice. We yeah, haven't been too lucky with bags in this Let's Play. I'll have to try to find maybe a quest that gives us another 10 slot bag. We have one 8 slot bag left. we go. We got our tusks. Now it's time to go back to refuge point and make this delivery. Clear up some bag space and then we'll probably head back to South Shore. What's over here? Some fade leaf. I guess we'll... Can we even pick that up right now? We do need it for blind, but we have a lot of blinds. We have 16 blinds that we can use. Let's see. Don't really have a lot of space. Yeah, I can't pick it up. I have to get rid of something here. Um, probably the Mage Royale. It's a good trade. I've been holding on to a lot of stuff, too, for a long time, like this, uh, Boggling Root. Increases physical damage by one for ten minutes, like... I've been holding on for that for a while. <laughs> then with the Light of a Loon, we've had that for a long time. That's obviously something you want to hold on to. It grants, uh, immunity from all damage for ten seconds. Need to remember to use that if the opportunity ever arises. Thing is, I don't know when I can use it. Can I use it in combat? Hopefully. I've never used it before. It's too far away. Oh, look who it is. The Forsaken. They're off to Terran Mill to deliver a letter. Probably getting hit pretty hard now. We don't have uh, the armor elixir out. I 
Yeah, we need to watch out. We're going to try to stay away from these uh, undead here. It's a pretty big group of undead. So we need to watch out for Fosric too. The giant that walks around here. Level 42 elite giant. Sort of looks like Tiny from Dota 2. Let me try to get a picture of these guys. I'm walking up here like this. There we go. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> One cool thing about a rogue, you can get some good green shots without getting attacked. Alright, so we're pretty much at refuge point now. I wonder if you can pull these guys into refuge point. Should I try? I wonder how far away they are. It would be fun to see them fight all of it could be a fun way to uh, to get this quest done. I just want to see if I could do that. Thing is, we don't have sprint. A few minutes on it. Do you have banish though? Just things get a little too rough. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw uh, a dagger, and then we'll run over to these guards to see if they help me. You don't want to run too far, though. I think you want to get them at a certain point, because they'll, they'll just run away. Yeah, it looks like I can hit them... ...here? Are they coming? Yep, yeah, they're coming. Run! Help me! Help, they're attacking! They're not even helping me. Oh, okay, they're running away. <laughs> right, that didn't work too well. If I think if I could bring, somehow find a way to bring them here, we'd be okay. But I guess uh, they're making sure you can't cheese it. Which is good. Alright, hello, 007. Welcome to Refuge Point. Have you had any luck so far, 007? Crichton makes some... Notes in his journal as he reads. If my research is correct, the tusk should come from the Witherbark, from any Witherbark troll. The medicine pouches comes from the Witherbark witch doctors, and the strongest of the Witherbark shadow hunters should carry the special knife given to them after they have completed their rite of passage. There's no way to tell which shadow hunter will have the knife until you do battle. Incredible. I can see why Malin asked you to come join us. Very well done indeed. At this rate, Squerto and I will be headed back to Stormwind in no time at all. I believe my Jorvan companion is back from scouting Boulder Fist Hall. Go speak to him when you're ready. It looked as though he might have had a bit of a scuffle with the ogres. Don't mention that to him, though. He's very sensitive about criticisms to his skills at scouting. Alright, so we made a little bit of coin. It looks like we've uh, unlocked some more quests to do in this area, so that's good. Maybe we'll stay for a couple more quests. Now it's time to clear up our bags a little bit. Looks like we made a little bit of coin, which is good. We're at 15 gold. We're far away from being able to get our mount, but... At least we were able to finish that quest and stay alive for another day. But that is the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.